So on my video about communion, my man here says that the New Testament is false. Witchcraft. Let's talk about witchcraft for a minute. At the base of it, anything outside of your religion you will call witchcraft. Anything within your religion you will say that is ordained by your God. So let's just clear the board right there. So even if you're doing something in your religion and somebody's doing something in their religion and it's exactly the same for the exact same purpose, theirs is witchcraft, yours is providence and what God instructed. Let me give you some examples. I know you're looking at the Old Testament because you're a Hebrew, you're Jewish. Well, you're one of those. I'm not saying which one. You call yourself whatever you like. But let's look at it. Talking snake talking donkey a man Moses hits a stone and outspouts water because the people were thirsty manna falls from heaven he throws down a staff Aaron's staff and it turns into a serpent they cause all kind of plagues to come all over Egypt and they turn um, water into blood you got Solomon and his Goetia Solomon commanding demons and the keys of Solomon You got Abraham doing burnt incense to repent, burning animals to repent. You got people uh, giving gifts in order to get rid of plagues when he tricked that dude saying that that was my sister and it turned out to be his wife. I mean, come on, man. You do animal sacrifice in order to anoint a priest. So what's the difference between the animal sacrifice and ephah to anoint a priest? It's all the same. It's just they do it for how they believe and you do it for how you believe. So it's okay for them to call yours witchcraft, but you would deny that and say that yours is of God. Did you know that many people in Christianity, early Christianity had, had emblems and symbols and, and uh, medallions made to ward off evil spirits in the same way that Moses put the painted the blood of the lamb over the doors so that the spirit of death who couldn't figure out who was who unless there was some blood on the door, it's a dumb spirit the same thing as people who put rocks over their doors to wash negative energy the same ones who burn sage just like they burnt incense like Esther had to burn incense to prepare herself come on man let's be real people all of y'all and everybody practice witchcraft because somebody's gonna call yours witchcraft you may call it magic the magi who follow the star in the east that's astrology to find the birth of Christ which I don't believe is Christ but you know what I'm saying those are Zoroastrians. It is all because people don't understand how the universal energies work. That they try to participate in different methods. But it's all really in your mind. You have that power within yourself. 